What's up guys? Welcome back to the iCloud Go channel. If you got an iPhone without knowing the lock screen passcode and Apple ID, or you just forgot all the credentials of your own device. Even you reset your iPhone you'll stuck on activation lock. No worries, in today's video I'll show you how to solve both these issues without passcode and Apple ID. Now let's get started. The first thing to do is to remove the lock screen passcode with iTunes. Connect your iPhone to your computer, and put it into recovery mode. For an iPhone 6s, is press the home button and power button at the same time until you see the connect to computer screen. And iTunes would detect it and suggest an update or restore. Hit the restore button. Agree the terms and service. Once iTunes download the firmware, it will start to restore your iPhone. You can also try for Yuki to remove lock screen, if you have problem using iTunes. Just click lock screen passcode option. Download the firmware the start to unlock. After all these done, your iPhone will be restored. But when you activate your iPhone it will show the activation lock. No worries. Let's go on to another tool. Tenorshare for Miki, which can help you remove iCloud activation lock. Now let's get started. Connect your iPhone to your computer. Download the software and install it. And you will see the interface remove iCloud activation lock. Click start. Read the risk tip and click next. Before you start to unlock iCloud account, for Miki will jailbreak your device. Click the jailbreak tutorial. Here you can find the detailed readable guide. Download the jailbreak tools on your computer. And launch Rufus. Before we start to jailbreak, you need to prepare a USB flash drive with more than 2 GB capacity. And insert the USB flash drive into your computer. Click the select button to find the downloaded check in 1x ISO file. Leave the other options as defaults, and then click start. And here's warning pops up, just select the right in DD image mode option, and then click OK. When the burning process is completed, click the close button. Restart your computer. When the computer is powered on and loaded in the meanwhile, press F12 to boot menu. In the startup window, select the USB flash drive that just burned the check in 1x ISO file. After the check in 1x tool is initiated, connect your iOS device to the computer, and you will see a connected reminder in the program. The select the start option from arrow keys the on your keyboard and press the enter key. To jailbreak your iOS device, Check in 1x requires your device be in DFU mode. Select next and the program will direct you to DFU mode. Check the next option and check in 1x will automatically put your iOS device into recovery mode first. Select the start option, and then follow the instructions on check in 1x to put your iOS device into DFU mode. After your device enters DFU mode successfully, check in 1x will automatically jailbreak your device. When the jailbreaking process is completed, select done and unplug the USB flash drive. Ok, now restart the computer. And launch for me key again. After jailbreak, the device information will be confirmed. Now click start remove. The iCloud activation lock will be removed in minutes. Now you can set up your iPhone without activation lock. As you can see, after we tap set up manually, it will directly go to data and privacy page, which means a success. But please noted that. You cannot use the iOS devices function of a phone call, cellular, and login iCloud of your new Apple ID from settings after iOS activation lock removal. And do not restart, 
factory reset or flash firmware of your device after a successful iCloud lock removal, or the device will be locked again. But you can unlock the same device again before the license expires. For more software and tutorials, you can subscribe us, or go to tenorshair.com. And don't forget to share this video with your friends.